Do you own a home or have plans to in the future? Don't miss the Dino and Nelson Show, Sunday afternoons at 1 p.m. on Money Radio, KTLK, AM 1150. You'll get all the information you need to know about what's happening in the local real estate market and how to take advantage of that knowledge. How to approach home ownership or mortgage financing with design, vision, and focus, as well as accurate information. Whether you're buying, selling, or investing, listen to Real Estate Radio with Dino and Nelson Sunday afternoons at 1 p.m. right here on Money Radio, KTLK, AM 1150. Good afternoon, Southern California. This is Dino from the Dino and Nelson Show here on Talk AM 1150, coming to you every Sunday from 1 to 2 p.m. And Dino, hot off the wire, brought to you by Saving My Credit, market leaders improving your credit score. A couple of news and notes that I wanted to share with you this week. Get your reaction. Out of Forbes magazine, this is speaking back to some of the real estate holdings that you've had in the past. $60 million apartment will be the most expensive co-op sale ever. I know. Unfortunately, my ex-wife got that one. Yeah, I can imagine. Outrageously priced homes. You know, it caught my eye. I mean, obviously, $60 million for a place to live is one thing. But in that millionaire, billionaire club, the luxury homes, it's still a vibrant market. Somebody's got the money and and they want a particular place. It is what it is. They're going to get it no matter what. And when you got places like New York, Beverly Hills, Newport Beach, all of those places are in such high demand that when, for example, down in Newport Beach, if you want a place on the water to park your 100-foot yacht, how many how many of those places are available? Right, right, right. You're going to pay for it if it comes up. And especially with the uh, the international community coming in, I know in uh, several real estate companies that have international marketplaces, they're advertising California on sale, and so there's a lot of interest. Sure. And, and whenever we're having problems here, somebody else is making money somewhere else. So there's always somebody making money, and those people are coming up and they're buying things up. In uh, uh, the OC Register, they noted that on the OC foreclosures and auctions, investors are making up half the uh, community of people that are buying. How many? Half? Half. Half the people that are at the foreclosure auctions, the trustee sales at the county court steps, are investors, not homeowners, looking to buy. Well, you know what? Later, we can actually talk about that when our guest, uh, Rob Seacrest from Polaris Equity, comes on to talk. They they know everything about the uh, the foreclosure market and the courthouse steps, because I'd like to actually know a little bit more about how that works. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. Okay. And also the register noting, and this is coming out of the new home sale category, one of uh, Orange County's prominent builders, Lion Homes, Lion Development, actually in years past was the number one home builder in the country, and they have a huge spike up. Uh, They've obviously been impacted by this economy like uh, most of the development community. But Lion Homes reports that uh, their uh, sales activity is up 89% as we've gone through the first quarter of the year, year over year. So I mean, I think that's fantastic news and looking for these kinds of positives that our real estate market's improving. Well, as we talked about the last, past, the last uh, few shows, the, the market has heated up. Every, every transaction I'm in right now that's a purchase deal, every single one has had multiple offers. Every single one has been bid up a little bit more than what the original asking price was. So that the the market's hot right now. Now, granted, I I'm talking more of Southern California, so I can't uh, speak of Northern or, or other areas. But from the the stuff that the we read, Arizona, Las Vegas. Well, this is exactly it. Line is actually in uh, uh, all of those markets: California, Nevada, Arizona, and the Phoenix market specifically is one of the uh, markets that was so suppressed it was hurting. Uh, it was had a, a tremendous difficulty, and yet it's leading the charge now in their home sales. And, and, and certainly the combination is interest rates are uh, have dropped and lenders have maybe injected a little bit more reality back into lending practice as the lending community overcorrected. Yeah, maybe even some of the the loan officers that don't know what the heck they're doing. Yeah, no, well, let's <laughs> are out of the business. Yeah, I know. Let's don't slam yourself, Dino. Come if, on. Uh, hey, come on, Nelson. <laughs> if you just joined us, just jumped in your car. This is the Dino and Nelson show here on K Talk AM eleven fifty every Sunday from one to two p.m. We can be reached at eight eight eight. 814-3335, 888-814-3335, or at the Dino and Nelson Show.com. And I think the housing recovery, I think it's, uh, I saw the National Association of Realtors 
uh, point out this week that they do think that the marketplace is poised for a recovery, that the foundation has been laid, that the direction is pointed in the right direction, the pace still uh, yet to be defined. They uh, noted this. Uh, they reported housing inventory uh, for sale homes has fallen to its lowest level since uh, March of 2005. And this is on a national statistic. 2.3 million homes, about six uh, six months supply, and total home sales having risen 13% in the last six months. So they're optimistic. They see sales activity and inventory sales activity increasing and inventories dropping. You know the the uh, outlook on that. I, I agree 100%. I mean, I'm seeing it. Obviously, I'm firsthand in the business every day. But uh, I think many people that, that have the negative attitude, it's because they listen to the news maybe a little too much. Because the news, as we talked about last week, all they do is, is want to talk about the, something negative that happened. And when in reality, these numbers aren't, aren't fake. They're real. Things yeah. are getting better. The numbers don't lie. So we, we clearly have that kind of optimism that's being validated by these kinds of reports that are coming out. And, and let's face it, like the balance of the consumers, we all get greedy. I mean, here uh, we are, we're at a time where we're at sub 4%, sub 3% interest rates in some cases, and yet uh, the, the, they're looking for better. I mean, I have this conversation frequently in terms of how cheap does money need to get before it's attractive. I mean, 0%, sure, that looks nice. But reality is we're at all-time lows. We're at record lows, that redundant comment that comes out. But the numbers, again, support that. Yeah, I agree, 100%. So uh, in in that same vein with uh, looking at what happened last week uh, with – uh, the uh, average interest rates, we actually saw a slight uptick, essentially a flat market. 30-year fixed rates averaging out to 3.9%, uh, 15-year fixed rates at 3.13% on average across the country. But I see the market flirting, especially with that 15-year fixed rate market, flirting with getting back under 3%. And let's just face it, if you can capture an interest rate fixed, 15 years, no risk, you know what your payment's going to be, and you're probably going to hit the finish line of that mortgage in your lifetime, that looks good. As I said last week, do not take the chance. The rate is here. It's extremely low. You're not going to save much. If, if you... If you don't refinance now or buy a home now because you're trying to get to 2.75% or two or 3.75% or 3.5, then you're going to miss the boat on what we have right now. The amount of money you're going to be saving by, by actually taking advantage of it now, if it drops, you can refinance. You right. don't have to wait to, to try and, and, and time the perfect rate. And we've seen this with our experience, obviously, for what, uh, maybe four or five months of mortgage experience for you, three decades for me. Yeah, I, but you know, it's, it's interesting how when, uh, when a new guy can come into the business, <laughs> such as myself, <laughs> yeah. and, and seriously, like, take over the yeah. office, especially <laughs> against the Listeners just over kidding. 30, Dino, over 30 years. The listeners, just kidding. Dino is uh, one of our wily veterans with uh, uh, now just crossing the 15-year experience threshold. And I think that's a valid point in terms of uh, uh, looking at mortgage rates, knowing that they're at or close to the bottom. There's going to be a tug of war. This past Thursday, we saw jobless rates uh, reported again, and there was actually a, a negative reporting, jobless rates increasing modestly. And so there's going to be this ebb and flow. I think the economy as it bumps off the bottom is going to be a piece of taffy getting pulled one direction and then the other, but with mortgage rates that are still going to hover in the same range for, what do you think, through second quarter, maybe third quarter? I think for sure through the end of the year. We're, we're good. I mean, it, when I look at it, though, I don't look at it at, at, a, at such a level that, that others do. I look at it as more of a um, you know, three to three, uh, I'm sorry, four to four and a half percent is still great. If, if you can lock in under four and a half percent, there's nothing wrong with it. Right. And our experience also tells you, and this is a really important listeners to, to pay attention to this because the marketplace, we've seen this over the decades, the market is always quick to respond up and slow to recover. Meaning specifically when we do see something that stimulates interest rates and starts to send them the, the opposite direction higher, it's a very ra quick ramp up and slow to bring that ter recover that territory. Correct. Well, I'm sure you you with your you know several years of uh, the being in the business, you've experienced it probably a little bit more than I have. But but in my 15 years, I've seen probably four or five where um, four or five times where the the rate has been low, just like it is now, and then all of a sudden one day it just changed. It's just 
done. It happened. And there was no reacting fast enough. You cannot lock anything. You cannot, it just, it's over. And, right. it do, and it doesn't go from four to four and a half. It goes from four to five or even five and a quarter, just like that, literally in five minutes. Yeah. And a lot of the times the, the consumer simply doesn't realize the volatility of mortgage rates being priced not only on a daily basis, but uh, hourly. Sometimes we've seen, I know uh, certain checkpoints in my career, I've seen interest rates where we've had seven, eight repricings intraday, four of them up, three or four of them down, ending the day where we started. So just frantic activity Lit- and no net change. Literally, in the old days, the kind of movement we used to have, uh, it, now we have in an hour, the kind of movement we had back then in, in a week. You know, it's, it's insane right now how quickly they move. You are listening to the Dino and Nelson show here on KTalk AM 1150 every Sunday from 1 to 2 p.m. And you can reach us at 888-814-3335, 888-814-3335, or at the Dino and Nelson show.com. When we come back, we're going to be speaking to our guest, Rob Seacrest from Polaris Equity Group, leaders in private money lending and trustee investing. You want to invest in today's real estate market and take advantage of the low values, but the property needs work. What do you do? Polaris Equity Group provides an answer with its market-exclusive 100% rehab program. The Polaris loan covers the purchase price, down payment, rehab budget, six months of interest, and lender's costs, all in exchange for a profit split between you and us. Call Polaris Equity Group to hear more about it. 949-727-4333. 949-727-4333. That's 949-727-4333. Take advantage of their exclusive 100% rehab program. 949-727-4333. Or find us online at PolarisEquityGroup.com. Is there really a simple mortgage process? The answer is yes. At First Centennial Mortgage, our customers save money and close their loans quickly because we use the most advanced mortgage technology available and deliver the best rates and terms as a result. Offering 30-year fixed rates below 4% and 10-year fixed rates below 3 all guaranteed on the kickoff of your application. Call 888-814-3335. That's 888-814-3335 or apply online at the thedinoandnelsonshow.com. The Dino and Nelson Show is brought to you by Best Chauffeur. Best Chauffeur offers personal chauffeur services for corporate events, large and small, and all types of people, not just celebrities. So next time you just want to relax and enjoy the ride, please call on Best Chauffeur Worldwide. It's effortless transportation and first-class service every time. Call 866-323-BEST. That's 866-323-BEST or online at bestchauffeur.com. Mention KTLK's Dino and Nelson Show and receive a special discount. 866-323-BEST or online at bestchauffeur.com. In such a chaotic real estate market, don't you want peace of mind on the home you're purchasing? Roadrunner Exterminating is a family-owned and operated company providing structural repairs, local treatments, and fumigation. And you can feel confident because Roadrunner Exterminating is licensed, bonded, and insured and are experts in termite and pest control. For fast and efficient service, plus the peace of mind on knowing the condition of your new home, call Roadrunner Exterminating at 866-398-2847. That's 866-398-2847 or on the web at roadrunnerexterminating.com. As always, mention the Dino and Nelson Show and get a free home inspection, 866-398-2847 or roadrunnerexterminating.com. This is Nelson from the Dino and Nelson Show, and finally, finally a reputable legal firm. CDA Law Center, a nationally recognized nonprofit homeowner advocate, one of the most trusted firms in the country for helping consumers with their loan modification process. CDA's attorneys have decades of combined experience guiding their clients through the very complex and choppy waters of loan modification. Call 877-499-4435. 877-499-4435. Finally, honest and ethical advice to gain real results. Call CDA Law Center at 877-499-4435 or online at cdalawcenter.com. Welcome back to the Dino and Nelson Show here on KTalk AM 1150. You can reach us at 888-814-3335. That's 888 888- 
814-3335 or at the Dino and Nelson Show. Segment two is going to be brought to you by CDA, CDA Law Experts, experts in loan modifications. Uh, today, we're going to be uh, introducing our special guest, Rob Seacrest from Polaris Equity Group. Uh, Rob Seacrest is uh, is a private money lender. Um, him and his uh, partner, co-founder, Dan Lymel, uh, started uh, Polaris Equity Group how long ago? A couple of years ago. Okay, great. And so we're going to ask you and trying to define uh, the difference between institutional lending and private money lending. So welcome to the show. Glad to have you here. Thanks, Dino. I uh, appreciate uh, the time to be here. Um, basically, the difference between private money and institutional lending is that we're not constrained by the normal underwriting guidelines and uh, the processes that take to get to the completion of a refinance or a purchase transaction. Um, traditional lenders are looking at uh, the property and making sure that the property qualifies, and they're also looking at the borrower. Uh, and the, from the borrower aspect, they're looking at income, liquid reserves, and uh, you know job stability and things like that, credit. We primarily look at the asset of the real estate in. You know, I, I, what I like to call it is is kind of old school common sense underwriting, because nowadays the underwriters are so caught up with with rules and uh, you know just all these different guidelines. Well, that, especially as the market's overcorrected. I mean, there's been these compliance issues that that have uh, not totally handicapped or handcuffed the, the lending community. I think that's on the street the concern that. Are banks lending at all? And of course they are, but with just much tighter constraints on who they allow to uh, uh, borrow money. It's back to they'll only lend money to people that plan on paying it back, which is what our industry kind of got away from. Yeah, and and that's why I like using Polaris Equity because when I when I do bring them deals, I have solid credit worthy, in my opinion, credit worthy borrowers. They got forty percent to put down on a house. Um, their credit might not be as good because they got rocked by the economy, just like so many people did in the last few years. But they have they have a, a real estate, they have enough equity in it, and they uh, they should qualify for a loan. I mean, when when you don't um, when you don't have any income at all, when you don't have any equity, like the old stated income, stated assets, stated everything deals, yeah, something might go wrong. But if you're if you're purchasing a home and you're putting forty percent down. And you you do have some income coming in. Chances are you're not going to let that house go because you don't want to lose your down payment. You know, Dino, it reminds me of a deal that you brought to me not too long ago of a, of a dentist uh, friend that we had that uh, he actually did have great income, great credit, and uh, the bank wouldn't do the uh, refinance of his brand new building because he didn't have it occupied, and he was going to be the occupant of of half of the building, and the other part he did have leased up. And just, just fin- right, just finished yeah. building this gorgeous building, and uh, and hadn't moved in yet, and he couldn't get financing on it. Uh, you know, so uh, and so my point is, is that um, I would actually say that uh, probably seventy five percent of our borrowers actually do have uh, still great credit, and a lot of them do have uh, income, but for one reason or another, they need to move with speed to close the transaction in timely fashion, or they're using one of our lending products that may be based on future value um, to to get the desired loan and the, the the loan of values that they're looking for is why they're coming to us. So let's let's talk about that product a little bit later because I think we should focus on that one a little bit. For all you investors out there, that is a terrific product that you're going to want to know about. There's a, a huge niche for all this uh, inventory of bank-owned properties or properties that are distressed that need repair. And the the retail market out there isn't willing to buy a property where it's not ready to be moved in by, with a family the next day after they buy it. So our borrowers are out there uh, with teams of, of, uh, of people making offers on, on, on you know, multiple properties. And when they get one that's the right price, they go ahead and they, they send us a rehab budget for that property. And we go ahead and do a, an appraisal of what the property would be worth once that, those uh, improvements are made to the property. Um, and once, w- once we have that future value, or what we call an after-repaired value, we lend off of that after-repaired value. And that sometimes can be as much as you know, almost 90% of the purchase price, that, that loan, if it's a straight debt. And we can go into it later. We have some other products that actually offer more than 100% loan to cost. Do you know, this is what uh, so many don't realize is all these properties that have gone back or have 
uh, fallen victim to uh, falling in arrears and payments. Obviously, maintenance is deferred. Upkeep is deferred. A home sitting uh, vacant. There's a huge problem with real estate sitting vacant. It deteriorates on a much more rapid basis. And so these properties uh, in many areas of, of Southern California and across the nation that have been s- sitting vacant, they do need to be brought up to speed in order to just be habitable, right? The best deals are the properties that look the worst. Yeah, absolutely. Because most of the time it's just a little bit of cosmetic care, right? Yeah. It's nothing. Um, they, they need new, you know, dual pane windows, new doors, uh, exterior and interior paint, landscaping, just that, you know, 10, 15, 20 grand can increase your purchase price or you could, you can double, uh, you can make, you know, 10, 20% profit on those in a very quick, short amount of time. So right. just to be really specific here, what, what you're looking for in terms of your borrower, you're looking for the state of California, you're looking at real estate in California, you're looking at first TDs, you're looking for non-owner occupied individuals. Is that correct? You're looking for people that want to buy these homes as investments? Sure. Let me say it in a different way. We're, we're licensed in California, so we only operate within the state. Um, we are, uh, you know, we only do first trustee uh, lien positions. We don't do seconds, but we do have some equity solutions for some of our products. We, we prefer to do non-owner occupied. And the sure. reason being is that what you mentioned earlier, all the, uh, the, gu- the guidelines and the government uh, regu- rules and regulations for owner, for owner occupied has gotten so exorbitant that we have to specifically write the deal to com- comply with that, all those regulations. And for the amount of transactions and the speed that we work, it's just not worth our time for that one uh, purchase. But when a guy like Dino comes to us, we sometimes make that. that, that I am you know, special. And you're, yeah. I, um, I don't want to comment I don't there. Mean on that the, kind of special. <laughs> <laughs> and on the, uh, you're not just residential. You're also looking in the commercial market, sure. the multifamily market. We do residential and commercial, um, and we do both purchases and and refinances. So we do the whole gamut. We also do note purchases. Um, we do. Pr- we're we're willing to do almost anything as long as it makes sense, um, and as long as we're in the senior lien position. So. We will, like Dino said earlier, you know, it's that common sense underwriting. Um, when you bring us all the pieces, you may feel that there's a deal there. You just don't know how to get it done. We've got the experience that we'll figure out a way to get that thing structured that makes it work for everybody and get it, get it quickly determined if it's possible and how we can get it to a close. And that's why people come to us uh, for those, those – tra- not only can we do the simple stuff, but the difficult stuff as well and, and figure out how to co- uh, write that product for that or that – structure for that scenario. If you're just stepping into your car, you're listening to the Dino and Nelson show on K Talk AM 1150. We can be reached at 888-814-3335. That's 888-814-3335. The segment is being brought to you by CDA law firm specializing in loan modifications. And our guest today is Rob Seacrest with uh, Polaris Equity Group. We're speaking about private money financing and uh, we're, we're getting our education here. You know, to- one of the really dynamic things that I think is unique to Polaris is on the residential side, lending uh, based on future value. So if a property is, let's say, because of its condition, is only marketable, just to grab a number, at $200,000, but with the proper rehabilitation, it could be a three or $350,000 property. You'll lend on that? That's correct. Um, so let me give you an example. Uh, we did a... Uh, two-unit purchase in Newport Beach. The property was purchased for six hundred and thirty-seven thousand for a short sale. They brought us a uh, a budget of forty-six thousand five hundred, and I believe that their future value appraisal was one million dollars. Uh, this particular property was completed and sold in this January, and they took uh, the first offer that came in, and they closed it at nine hundred eighty thousand. That's a gross profit of just under two hundred thousand that they had to work with. And I believe that that property paid off within uh, four months or so. 120 days, and they were able to realize, not only lend based on the future value, but realize that in the sure. first four and, months. And that's the gross, that was the gross profit. Uh, obviously, they got to back out their, their lending costs and all that. But you can see that, that these guys are making a lot of money um, and th- there, there's all kinds of opportunity out there to be found. Now, granted, we very, very, very rare run across this type of property in, in Orange County, but uh, Los Angeles County, San Diego counties, Riverside counties, we're, we're finding all kinds of these deals. And, and in terms of uh, investor purchases, you've got three buckets that people are out there traditionally looking for uh, investment opportunities, trustee sales, bank-owned properties, REOs, short sales, 
of that group, where do you think you focus? Sure. So, you know, we get transactions from our borrowers from all, all different types of places, but the best deals and the majority of the bulk deals that are the best pr purchase prices right now are coming in as short sale approved offers when they get to us. This is so much great information, but we do have to take a break. So we'll be back soon, and we'll uh, speak more to Rob Seacrest from Polaris Equity Group. Meanwhile, you're listening to the Dino and Nelson Show here on KTalk AM 1150. We can be reached at 888-814-3335. 888-814-3335 or at thedinoandnelsonshow.com. Brought to you by CDA Law Center, specializing in loan modifications. We'll be back after this break. In such a chaotic real estate market, don't you want peace of mind on the home you're purchasing? Roadrunner Exterminating is a family-owned and operated company providing structural repairs, local treatments, and fumigation. And you can feel confident because Roadrunner Exterminating is licensed, bonded, and insured, and are experts in termite and pest control. For fast and efficient service, plus the peace of mind on knowing the condition of your new home, call Roadrunner Exterminating at 866-398-398. 2847. That's 866 398 2847 or on the web at roadrunnerexterminating.com. As always, mention the Dino and Nelson show and get a free home inspection. 866 398 2847 or roadrunnerexterminating.com. Is there really a simple mortgage process? The answer is yes. At First Centennial Mortgage, our customers save money and close their loans quickly because we use the most advanced mortgage technology available and deliver the best rates and terms as a result. Offering 30-year fixed rates below 4% and 10-year fixed rates below 3 all guaranteed on the kickoff of your application. Call 888-814-3335. That's 888-814-3335 or apply online at thedinoandnelsonshow.com. The Dino and Nelson Show is brought to you by Best Chauffeured. Best Chauffeured offers personal chauffeur services for corporate events, large and small, and all types of people, not just celebrities. So next time you just want to relax and enjoy the ride, please call on Best Chauffeured Worldwide. It's effortless transportation and first-class service every time. Call 866-323-BEST. That's 866-323-BEST or online at bestchauffeured.com. Mention KTLK's Dino and Nelson Show and receive a special discount. 866-323-BEST or online at bestchauffeured.com. This is Nelson from the Dino and Nelson Show and finally... Finally, a reputable legal firm. CDA Law Center, a nationally recognized nonprofit homeowner advocate, one of the most trusted firms in the country for helping consumers with their loan modification process. CDA's attorneys have decades of combined experience guiding their clients through the very complex and choppy waters of loan modification. Call 877 499 4435. 877-499-4435. Finally, honest and ethical advice to gain real results. Call CDA Law Center at 877-499-4435 or online at cdalawcenter.com. Here we go! Welcome back to the Dino and Nelson Show here on KTalk AM 1150. We can be reached at 888-814-3335. That's 888 888- 814-3335 or at the Dino and Nelson show.com. This segment is brought to you by Best Chauffeur for expert limousine. Limousine? Limo. Limo service. Wow. Wow. You just came from the dentist, I did. right? Yeah, that's good. So what? What's yeah, wrong no, with how I, I speak? I appreciate that. I'm going to have Gosh. a new nickname, Rubber Lips. That's awesome. All right. Well, <laughs> we are back with uh, with Rob Seacrest from Polaris. And, and specifically, I want to speak about some of the, uh, the uh, uh, I guess, programs you guys have available. Because there's this one that I think is probably the best product out there. It's literally 100% financing or it could be on a rehab product on a rehab home meaning something that uh, that isn't uh, quite up to par that an investor needs to buy or I should say a borrower wants to buy uh, fix up and resell for a profit put How it into street work? terms it's rehabilitation if I mean just using your physique as an example some bumps and bruises mm -hmm. some things that you need yep. to upgrade in, a, yep. in order to come to market absolutely but it's better than sagging all the way down and not being able to get it back up <laughs> wow okay yeah. so we Re rehabilitation <laughs> Sorry, financing yeah. yeah yeah okay 
Um, so we actually offer two products um, in the rehab market. One of them is just straight debt, and that product is up to 60 to 65 percent of the future value. Um, that's that's a fairly common product. Uh, a lot of lenders uh, do offer it out there. So you finance a hundred based on your acquisition, and then uh, uh, but or base the value on the after improvement. I'm confused. Not, not yeah, yeah, let me just right. finish what I'm saying. I think I'll be able to answer it. So okay. we have two products. One Jeez, straight debt. Jeez, Nelson, stop <laughs> interrupting me. <laughs> one straight debt up to sixty to sixty-five percent of the future value, and the other product, which is the one that that Dino is mentioning here, is our. Uh, product that we lend up to 80% of the future value. And that particular product is not only uh, debt, but we also will have equity that comes in as well to get us all the way up to that extremely high leverage position of 80% um, of the future value. That particular product is includes all the purchase price for the house, all the rehab budget, all the closing costs, lender points, everything that's associated with it, including the entire rehab budget. In fact, we even give you back your earnest money deposit back at the close of escrow. That's the only awesome. The only thing that comes out of pocket per transaction is you need to pay for your appraisal uh, with one of our pre-approved appraisers. You're like, it's like 400 bucks, right? We, um, it, most, the, most of the people, it's 350. Um, just depends on the particular property, but that's the basis is usually 350. And you got to pay for the home inspection report as well, which can be anywhere from 150 to 200 bucks. It just depends on the, the size of the property, the age of the property, et cetera. Um, those two, the, those last two, the appraisal and the home inspection, you don't get uh, reimbursed for, but you get credit from the profit split. So this 80% product has not only is there the cost of funds for the, the entire stack of uh, capital for that 80%, but in addition to that, there's a profit split as well. And it's, there's two different profit splits depending on how experienced of a rehabber you are. If you've completed three transactions in the last 24 months in which your name was on title or the combination of you and your partner is on title, you can start off with a profit split going to you as high as 70% for the first 90 days. Each month thereafter, it increases to our favor 10%. And at the end of the six months, if you haven't been able to successfully sell the property, we're going to take over that property and liquidate it and handle it for you. Um, and that's our hammer to make sure that so, this thing it gets sold off. So what you're saying is basically is if somebody's qualified, knows what they're doing through their resume of past performance that you guys will look at, you will give them all pretty much all the money it takes to buy this home. You'll let them fix it. You'll let them try and sell it. And you'll let them try and make money. And if they can't perform, then you'll just take it back. That's correct. And basically, the way we look at it, there's, there's virtually they've got no skin in the game. And we, we, we have to have a hammer to force this, this to make them move as quickly as possible. Because when we designed the product, we were thinking that, you know, if these people have uh, multiple projects going on at one point and four or five of them uh, they've got more cash into and ours they don't have any cash into, they may choose to let ours lag behind and put less effort into that. So in that scenario, we have to write our deals so that we have an ability to take over in that event. Hey, it's your money, right? Correct. <laughs> right. And I think it speaks to the vast majority of people that, that see opportunity out there, that, that have experience, but simply just don't have the capital to commit right now. So this is where you can come in and partner in that role. That's correct. Well, the reason this product was designed is that we have uh, borrowers that have teams of people and they're buying lots and lots of properties, making making dozens and dozens of offers a month. And this product was created in the event that when the offers were accepted, if it happened with there was more offers than they had cash available, that they wouldn't have to pass on that opportunity. So they may close some or the majority of the transactions, which are just our straight debt financing. But in the scenario where they don't have sufficient capital or they want to keep some in reserve, they can use our other up to 80% prop, uh, uh, product and th thus you know, give and up it, the profit split. But they can, they, you know, it was an opportunity that they wouldn't have been able to close yeah, otherwise. Opportunity doesn't pass them by. I think that makes perfect sense. Well, and, and not to confuse people, because when we say 100% financing and, and Rob sitting here saying 80%, you got to realize Rob saying 80% of not what the purchase price of the home is, but after repair value. In other words, after you fix it all up, what is it going to be worth? And then 80% of that, which basically is over 100%. Yeah, you know, it's it's funny. It, it, I think it adds up to somewhere about 120%. Uh, By the time you add in yeah. their, their closing costs, you're paying their uh, uh, mortgage payment for what, six months? Yeah, right? yeah, that was one thing I forgot to list in the thing. So it's, a, it's the purchase price, the rehab budget, the lender's uh, points, 
plus the rehab budget and six months prepaid interest reserve. Yeah. Um, of that interest reserve, three months of it's non-refundable, but the other three months is refundable if you were successful in selling it. Uh, you know, uh, after that period. That to me, that's a deal, and, and you know. Earlier, you said the majority of, of your clients for something like this are the ones that actually do have other projects going on, have teams of people. Oh, yeah. Um, so the majority of our transactions, on average, are paying off in month four, at about somewhere in the 120 days. And these guys, the day it closes escrow, their team is hitting the ground, getting that property rehab. They can generally bust these properties out in two to four weeks. And they've already got the property marketed at the time that they start the property, uh, the rehab on the property. Right. Uh, there was one other thing I wanted to uh, mention as well. We will consider doing uh, this type of financing, the 80% product uh, of future value, for pro for borrowers that have less than three transactions closed in the last 24 months. It's just a different profit split. That one starts off at 50-50. And that, uh, all this information is available on our website at PolarisEquityGroup.com. And, and I'm assuming after they do that one with you, next home they do, it goes back down to the, the smaller profit split, right? Um, that's a great question. So it actually, once they've gotten to, th they've completed their third transaction, um, whichever, who, how, whoever that was the lender or however they got done, once they've got three under their belt uh, within the past 24 months, then they do move to the 70-30 split, 70% to them. So, Duna, I think this invites the, the uh, average uh, investor or uh, candidate investor into the party where they just don't have that capital base to work from. But they have the ability to identify properties. They have the network in terms of rehabbing properties. And now they have the financial partner, the last piece of the puzzle, to actually play the game. So, you know, it's interesting you mentioned that. There's all kinds of real estate investment clubs going on uh, in different counties, different areas. And we just had a phenomenal event at the River uh, Real Estate Investment Club of Los Angeles. And it's organized by Phyllis. And it was a great event. We have all kinds of very ex uh, experienced rehab buyers there. And we have new people that are attending these events and are learning on how to do these events. And they may need to start off with the 50% pro uh, the 80% product with the 50% split. But eventually, they'll get to that 70-30 split. Split, split for the 80% product. So there's these clubs that you can go to, and you can look that up. It's the Real Estate Investment Club of Los Angeles that's organized by Phyllis. And you can attend these. These are generally uh, done monthly, and there's a, a, almost virtually every city, every county's got, got one. There's you know San Diego. Even last and, week, we had Aaron Mazrillo on. Same thing. He's, uh, he's another real estate wholesaler, does a ton of these kind of deals. And uh, and you, you can reach him on our website as well, and or also the what is it the real estate of Los Angeles real estate investment club of Los Angeles Los Angeles and you guys just had a, a live seminar there yeah yeah we just had a live seminar there correct awesome so Rob tell me about this I want to dive a little bit deeper just on your experience obviously there's a lot of people that are in the investment market but your organization is a defined expert what's tough out there what makes it hard. So what makes it hard is that these days, um, through the shakeup of the uh, the economy and the recession, most title companies, most uh, escrow companies, most of the people that we're working with now are not seasoned professionals. They're 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 new, and they they I don't know if these companies couldn't afford to keep on the the uh, upper management or the the experienced people, but. We find that we're having to direct uh, a lot of companies, more so title, on what to do and what's possible in these situations that we're come up against in the quick closing. And we're actually telling them what to do, and they're telling us, no, you can't, we, we can't do that. And we're telling them, yes, you can. This is how you do it. And then we're pushing them to their management and getting it approved. These are just some of the hurdles. We know it's possible. They don't. And their uh, standard answer is, no, it's not possible. And we just can't accept that when we're on, on a clock for a closing and our borrower's money has already gone hard and if it's taken them you know you know a couple months to you know as long as nine months to get the short sale approved we can't afford to let that transaction fall through so the inexperience obviously an issue and and your experience being able to take on that coach's cap role and, and navigate the transaction. That's true. And there's other aspects as well. There's a whole uh, cottage industry of wholesaling these, uh, these th when they get these properties under contract, and you got to know how to negotiate and get make that hap that transaction happen where the bank will still accept it. There's all kinds of nuances there. Um, but uh, So I, as a borrower then, I mean, it just fit, sounds perfect. I know of opportunity, let's say in my neighborhood, 
and and I know the the subdivision, I know the homes, I know the perhaps the the former owners, and I've seen the property deteriorate over the years. I don't have the capital to to do something on my own. I bring you in as not only the financial partner that allows the profit sharing, uh, but also as the negotiator expert to help navigate the transaction. Uh, correct. Generally, if we uh, decline the transaction, it's you're you're going to be glad that we did that because usually we found something on the front side that you didn't see, or that the the profitability of that transaction, given our experience of closing well over three thousand transactions and a half a billion dollars of money raised for those, that we've we've done enough of these that we look at it as a commodity, and a lot of people get used to looking at it as it's still a purchase for them, and that's not how you're looking at it. You're looking at it as what's the profit I'm going to make on this. Right. Just the return on investment. Correct. The rehabilitation financing, I think that's an, a, a fascinating segment of your business, but, but you also have a different segment for investors that want to come in and purchase on the trustee side. Correct? Sure. So our, we're, we are a, a lender just like a bank. A bank has depositors that, that you know put their money with the bank and then they lend that out. We do much of the same thing. Um, we have investors that uh, that are who we work with, and when a borrower comes to us and they want to get a loan on a transaction, we underwrite it, we package that deal up, and then we take it to our investors, and we get that funded through our own internal investors. Those investors we've built up over time, and uh, we've raised millions of dollars doing it. And those investors are all uh, secured with their name on title for each individual property, and they're getting yields between ten and twelve percent. Hey, hey, Rob, I don't, I don't mean to cut you off because I do want to get to that, but I'm sorry, Nelson talked so much in the last segment. We got to take a break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, okay. When we, come, when we come back, I want to talk a little bit about the uh, the trustee investors because that's a real interesting topic as well. Okay. Okay, so you're just uh, jumping into the car here. We were talking to Rob Seacrest from Polaris Equity Group, and we'll be right back to speak with him a little bit more about trustee investments. This is the Dino and Nelson Show on KTalk AM 1150. You can, be, you can reach us at 888-814-3335. 888-814-3335 or at the DinoandNelsonShow.com. What do you do when your bank simply says no to your real estate purchase? Polaris Equity Group provides an answer, yes. Our flexible purchase and bridge loan programs are the direct result of our involvement in more than 3,000 transactions of varying size and complexity. Since 1991, Polaris has completed over $500 million in real estate investment transactions using both debt and equity solutions. When the bank says no, call Polaris Equity Group to hear yes. 949-727-4333. That's 949-727-4333. Logical decisions to execute a timely close. 949-727-4333. Or find us online at polarisequitygroup.com. In such a chaotic real estate market, don't you want peace of mind on the home you're purchasing? Roadrunner Exterminating is a family-owned and operated company providing structural repairs, local treatments, and fumigation. And you can feel confident because Roadrunner Exterminating is licensed, bonded, and insured and are experts in termite and pest control. For fast and efficient service, plus the peace of mind on knowing the condition of your new home, call Roadrunner Exterminating at 866 398 2847. That's 866 398 2847 or on the web at roadrunnerexterminating.com. As always, mention the Dino and Nelson show and get a free home inspection. 866 398 2847 or roadrunnerexterminating.com. Is there really a simple mortgage process? The answer is yes at First Centennial Mortgage. Our customers save money and close their loans quickly because we use the most advanced mortgage technology available and deliver the best rates and terms as a result. Offering 30-year fixed rates below 4% and 10-year fixed rates below 3 all guaranteed on the kickoff of your application. Call 888-814-3335. That's 888-814-3335 or apply online at the DinoAndNelsonShow.com. This is Nelson from the Dino and Nelson Show, and finally, finally a reputable legal firm. CDA Law Center, a nationally recognized nonprofit homeowner advocate, one of the most trusted firms in the country for helping consumers with their loan modification process. CDA's attorneys have decades of combined experience guiding their clients through the very complex and choppy waters of loan modification. Call 877-499-4435. 
877-499-4435. Finally, honest and ethical advice to gain real results. Call CDA Law Center at 877-499-4435 or online at cdalawcenter.com. The Dino and Nelson Show is brought to you by Best Chauffeur. Best Chauffeur offers personal chauffeur services for corporate events, large and small, and all types of people, not just celebrities. So next time you just want to relax and enjoy the ride, please call on Best Chauffeur Worldwide. It's effortless transportation and first-class service every time. Call 866-323-BEST. That's 866-323-BEST or online at bestchauffeur.com. Mention KTLK's Dino and Nelson Show and receive a special discount. 866-323-BEST or online at bestchauffeur.com. Welcome back to the Dino and Nelson Show here on K Talk AM 1150. We can be reached at 888 814 3335. 888 814 3335 or at the Dino and Nelson Show.com. Case, you uh, just jumped into your car. We were speaking to Rob Seacrest from Polaris Equity Group, a, uh, a company that lends uh, private money. And uh, and also invest other people's money in uh, first trust deeds. So, Rob, this is this is actually a great new investment tool, being that uh, the stock market is is where it is, and not knowing where to invest sure. and what to do. This is a great tool. Sure. So, um, you know, people that are tired of the fluctuations of the stock market, and given that we got a, a you know a presidential election coming up, um, and you know we don't know what the volatility of gold is going to be for alternative investments. Plurus Equities uh, trust deed investments are secured, cash-flowing investments that yield double-digit returns, typically between 10 and 12%. Um, our investors' names are actually recorded on title for each transaction that we do. We service the loans for them. We manage that whole process from the beginning to end, um, on the underwriting all the way to closing and, and everything else that goes along with that. And I think a key ingredient that we talked about when we were on our break is that not only are these uh, secured by trust deeds, that gives them the stability, that they do have security behind the, the, the investment, right? That's correct. So we're the senior lien piece on all, all the transactions that we do, and we are uh, lending uh, on these, these, these loans, and, and we're doing it with protective equity in there. And you know, we, earlier, if you were listening to the show, we, we, we mentioned that we do lend on a future value, and the, the thing that's important to know for our investors is that that future value can only be at, uh, at, at ascertained when you have a budget and the money for that budget is held in our trust account and our fund control. We do not disperse that money uh, to reimburse the borrower until we've verified that those uh, improvements have been made to the pro- to the property. In the event that 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 the loan was to, uh, to we were to take the loan back in the mid stride of of the completions being completed, we have sufficient capital to get it completed, and thus we are able to uh, achieve that future value and complete the property. So we hold that money in trust account, and that's how we're able to lend on the future value. Well, which also lends itself to the fact if you have a house that's worth. $200,000, you guys will lend on it. What? Sure. So on, on regular transactions, we go to 60 to 65% of the as is value or purchase price. It's only on these uh, rehab t- uh, transactions so that we'll go to the appraisal future value. is done, whatever today's current market value is, you guys will lend 60 maybe 65% if the house is in a great neighborhood or something that you consider is correct on a refinance, but on a purchase, we always will use the purchase price. Rob, is it difficult with the appraisal community to identify future value? We do use a higher uh, level or skill level appraiser, somebody that, that has uh, sufficient experience and hopefully uh, the contract the, the, the contractor background to be able to, to know what's going on when they see a budget. We don't take any appraiser. We uh, verify the appraiser. It's got to be somebody from our pre-approved list that we know who we're working with. Hey, Rob, uh, we're running out of time, but we'd love to have you back on the show sometime. And, and in case any of our listeners want to contact you, um, we're going to direct them to our website, thedinoandnelsonshow.com. we got all your information up there. We invite you to, uh, to either call us at 888-814-3335, 888-814-3335. Three, five, or go to the Dino and Nelson show.com. We have uh, Rob Seacrest from Polaris Equity Group right up there on the, on the homepage. And, uh, and if you'd like to talk to him about either trust deed investing or if you need a loan, please contact us.
Now we're going to be speaking to Nicole Mayer from Sun Real Estate Team down in South Orange County. Nicole is uh, is a realtor down there and specializes in uh, in regular transactions, uh, not necessarily these rehab projects and a bunch traditional of traditional transactions. Stuff. Traditional, like a, a regular realtor. Welcome to our show, Nicole. Hi, thank you. Thank you for having me. You know the um, uh, South County market; it's been hit like the balance of the markets. But is do we do you see as much foreclosure or distress sale activity, or is the market pretty healthy? Um, about twenty seven percent is distressed properties in that area, and um, prices are down, rates are low, and uh, sales are moving up. So uh, buyers are are being able to purchase their dream home in South Orange County when uh, they weren't able to do it several years ago. Right, and S- San Clemente is your home base, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. What a beautiful town. My hometown too, actually, that's where I grew up. Yeah, I'm certain she's run into some stories about you, huh? Well, we were just talking earlier. My claim to fame <laughs> down in San Clemente is, uh, is Pedro's Tacos. My, my dad is actually Pedro. Uh, we started that place and I grew up working over there. Yeah. Best burritos in town still. Right. <laughs> So, so with that marketplace, uh, you work on the traditional sales. You're you're not involved with so much the REOs or short sale activity. Uh, the the you see an upswing in the marketplace in terms of total sales, or what what's happening? Um, well, the the market is is definitely on an inventory low, so the prices are going to be once the distressed properties are moving off of the inventory, then so they're go, they're going up. Right. I mean, there's not enough inventory out there, so people are are actually just bidding the house up because they want it. There's no other inventory. That and and may may see that the um, market is going to stabilize and prices could gradually start to increase. So now is the time to buy. Well, with with rates as low as they are, with right. uh, low inventory, values are rising, and uh, and the market is good. Yeah, I think that's the the misnomer out there is that uh, that uh, people are still they still believe that the market hasn't crashed or hit bottom yet, and that values may still decline, and there may be some level of hesitancy uh, to invest or or purchase in the market for that reason. But that's not the case. I mean, the numbers again when we go back to the beginning of our program, the numbers don't lie. They don't lie in San Clemente either in terms of values actually stabilizing and pointed up. Right, right. Because you know, hey Nicole, with with San Clemente being such a, a small beach town. Do you find a lot of people own second homes there, or is it mostly just owner-occupied primary residences? Um, it, it's both. It just depends on what um, where you're at located in San Clemente, whether you're really close to the beach. There's a lot of the, the um, you know, duplex complexes over there. So, And um, towards west, on the other side of the freeway, there's a lot more family housing in that area. Great. Well, if you'd like to uh, to get some more information on San Clemente or Dana Point or any of those little co- coastal communities down South County, Orange County, that is, uh, contact us at 888-814-3335. That's 888-814-3335. Or check us out on the web at thedinoandnelsonshow.com. We have Nicole Mayer right there that, uh, with all her information. You can contact her, and she'll show you some lovely homes in San Clemente. Thanks, Nicole. We appreciate you joining us. Thank you. You know, as we close out the show, I wanted just to take a few minutes and and look at what's happening with mortgage financing specifically. Are rates going up? Are they going down? And and really showcase a couple of... Yes and yes. They're going <laughs> yeah, exactly. up and they're going down. Yeah, exactly, but uh, showcase a couple of things that out that are out there. I mean, we were talking this morning about something that that uh, I haven't written a lot of this type of financing, but it's available out there. Is is the interest only products? There's still benefit to that, aren't there? I I love interest only products. I I do catch uh, some flack for it um, because uh, so many people, I, I think, conservative people, maybe too conservative think that we had this incredible mortgage meltdown and the world came to an end because we had some some interest-only products that were available that a lot of people were using. And that's really not the case at all. It's not the case at all. So what would be the example of interest-only being a, a, the, the right choice for a mortgage? So I'll, uh, I'll use a, an example of a, of a deal I did a long time ago. And the option was a 30-year fix. Now, this was a while ago, but the option was a 30-year fixed at 6%. Or a seven-year arm, interest only, meaning the the interest rate is fixed for seven years, and at during that portion of it, it's interest only. So the difference is you're not paying any principal down; you're only paying the interest. But the payment now it was a, it was a larger loan. I forget the exact amount, but it was in the seven eight hundred thousand range. the The difference was approximately a thousand dollars a month. That's a lot of money, and I and I tell my customers that do have an interest uh, for the interest only product that it has its role. If you're going to own the property, 
a shorter time frame, let's say five years or less, with any mortgage, there's very little principal pay down in the first five years of the mortgage. So yeah. like you're saying, it cash flows better, has that benefit, and it's still fixed for the time frame that they're going to be owning the home. So it'll feel exactly like a traditional 30-year fixed rate. Absolutely. And, and you know, there's also the difference just between a regular arm product versus a 30 year fix, like you just talked about. If you do a five, a seven, let's call it a seven year arm. That's, that's kind of the number that I'm still safe with where I feel comfortable putting my, my clients into. Right. If you know you're going to own the home for five years or less, why pay the higher interest rate? Like in today's rates, a, a 30 year fix conforming loan amount for 17 or under, uh, you're looking at Low four percent, right? No, right. Fee, no fees, stuff like that. Or you can do a seven-year interest-only arm at I think probably three percent, maybe two point eight seven five actually. Right. So the amount of money you're going to save over that period of time for the next, let's just say five years, that's a lot of money. Great. You can, you can great choose to invest that money. You can choose either in the stock market, um, into other properties, into trustees. I'm trustees. assuming. Yeah, with Polaris Equity Group. There's there's so many things you can do. So you know, look at the options. We we're not we're not we don't we don't have to do a thirty year fix. Uh, we're not in the the old school days where everybody only did thirty year fixes. There are options. Our lives are different. Uh, we get relocated. Some people get divorced. There's all sorts of things that happen. So let's look at the options. The, Call the astute decision is just actually understanding what the menu is out there. Cover that landscape, and then you can make the, the, the decision of what makes the best economic sense. Absolutely. So for, for good, solid advice, call Dino, not Nelson, at the Dino and Nelson Show at 888-814-3335. 888-814-3335. Or look us up on the web at the Dino and Nelson Show. Thank you very much. And thanks to uh, Rob Seacrest from Polaris Equity Group and Nicole Mayer. Our, uh, our expert realtor down in South Orange County. We'll see you next week. Thank you.